Use this guide to skip to a specific step. Assembling your anchor. Thread one hex nut all the way down each J-bolt. Thread each J-bolt into the template and thread a second hex nut onto each J-bolt. Tighten all four hex nuts. To ensure nothing's misplaced, install the rest of the hardware onto your J-bolts. Building a wooden form. Cut two pieces of 2x4 at 13 inches and two more pieces at 10 inches. Next, using screws, assemble as shown, ensuring that your inside diameter is 10 inch by 10 inch square. Laying out and pouring your concrete, be sure to reference your user manual for the correct spacing between your anchors. It is crucial that your anchors are aligned properly and at the same height as one another. Use a string and string level to ensure this. You might have to build one anchor up higher than another to make sure that they are level with each other. Once you've figured out your anchor location, dig a hole 3 feet deep, 10 by 10 square, belling out the bottom to 14 inches square. Next, mix roughly 4 80 pound bags of ready mixed concrete. Be sure to follow the directions on the bag. Fill your hole about halfway with concrete. Then place your four pieces of rebar as shown. Then continue filling your hole until completely full. Smooth out your concrete and level your form. Place your anchor center in your concrete. Be sure that your steel template is touching the concrete. Using a tape measure, ensure your anchor is centered. Net pole assembly. Start by assembling the three sections of pole. Light and flag pole assembly. If this is a light pole, fish your cable through all four sections of the pole. Next, assemble your light bar on the very top and assemble all four sections of the pole together, ensuring that all four sections are facing the correct direction. Install four hex nuts at each connection point and tighten. If this is not a flag pole, install the hardware for your light bar. If this is a flag pole as well, you can go ahead and install your pulley. Next, install the rubber plug where the power cable comes through. If being used as a light, install your LED lamps as shown. You can mount your lamps on the bottom of the light bar or the top as personal preference. Be sure to tighten the bolts. Adjust your lamps as needed and tighten all of your hardware. Next, zip tie your cable down so that there's no loose wires. At this point, you can go ahead and pull any slack left at the top towards the bottom. Using scissors or a knife, cut any excess zip tie ends. If this is just a flag pull, you can put your pull cap on and mount your pulley at this time. You can install your rubber plug as well to keep water out of the pole. If this is also a flag pole, you can thread your rope through the pulley and tie a secure knot. Next, mount your cleat near the middle of the pole. This is where your rope's gonna tie off so that you can put your flag up and down. Standing up and leveling the pole system. Start by removing your wood form. Next, remove all the hardware off your anchor and put in a safe spot. Leave one flat washer on each J-bolt. Next, with help, set the pole on the anchor. Secure using one flat washer, one lock washer, one hex nut for each J-bolt. If leveling is needed, you can loosen the top hex nuts and adjust your lower hex nuts up and down to level the pole, then tighten the top hex nuts. Once leveled, put your plastic caps on. Basketball goal net bracket. Start by removing your gusset pad. Remove one hex nut from the rear J-bolt. Take your flat washer off and then install your net bracket. Put the flat washer back on and your hex nut and tighten. Now repeat this on the other rear J-bolt. Reinstall your gusset pad. Next, remove the four rubber plugs on the backside of your main pole. 
Next, install your top bracket to the back of the main pole as shown. If you have a Hercules system, you can follow these next steps. We're going to be using a spacer that is provided. This allows the bracket to be set off the main pole about a half inch. If you do not have a Hercules system, you can go ahead and skip this step. Next, slide the T-bar into the top bracket as shown and install the two hex nuts to hold it into place. Net assembly. Start by installing the correct bracket onto each of your poles. You can use the installation manual to help with this. Please note there are two different size brackets and a 90 degree bracket that can be used. At the end of this, you will have hardware left over depending on your specific layout. Here we're gonna be showing how to install the 90 degree bracket if you have a 90 degree turn in your net. Next, thread your net poles together. You want to resize your net poles so they fit between your two main poles. Next, install your net to the net pole. Then connect one side of your net pole to your bracket. Then re-expand your net pole to line up the holes on the other side and secure it. If you're using the basketball goal net bracket, then you can go ahead and install your poles as shown. Next, using an eight foot ladder, connect your brackets to the top of your poles. Next, slide your net onto your net pole. Now using two 8-foot ladders, mount one side of the net pole to the bracket and thread the net pole out until the holes line up on the other side of the net pole. Lastly, zip tie your net to your poles as desired. Now you have the best boundary netting system in the neighborhood.